21, was that the number you were looking at and, and your thoughts on the, on the class? Yeah, um, we thought it'd be right around that. Uh, the big piece to our class was uh, just making sure that we, you know, hit the different positions and make sure that we got the right guys for our schemes and stuff and, and also make sure they were right fit as people. And, uh, you know, I think we did a really good job in that area. And, uh, you know, other thing that I'm really proud about is how well we did inside the state of Georgia. Um, you know, I, I know somebody brought me a stat earlier and said that um, we probably had the highest percentage out of all the FBS schools in the state of Georgia to uh, sign in-state players. And that's something that's very important to Georgia Southern. Seemed like there were a lot of receivers and members of the secondary. Was that a need or was that just what, what ended up falling to you? The, every, everything we took was a need. Um, the skill players, uh, the great thing about all of them is they can do, you know, different things. Uh, in, in our defensive scheme with the 3-4, you know, there's a lot of different moving parts with the back end as far as corners, safeties, outside linebackers. And, uh, you know, those guys have got to be able to fit in that. And then on offense, you know, you got to have guys that are explosive that can, you know, get the ball in, in different areas of the field, whether it's, you know, catching a pitch, taking a handoff, catching a quick pass, whatever, and just be able to make plays in space. So uh, definitely something that we wanted to make sure that we addressed and, and always being able to have playmakers. Coach, a lot of times uh, you get up on uh, signing day and a lot of staring at the fax machine, not sure what might come in or what might not. It seemed like over the last few weeks with the official visits, you were getting a lot of response from the players on social media. How, how comfortable of a morning was it? Um, you know, I slept good last night. I did. Um, you know, the coaches have done a really good job of uh, getting us in position to be able to finish today. Um, and not only our coaches and staff, but, um, you know, I need to give a huge shout out to our, our current players because as we brought these guys on campus and, um, you, you know, had our official visits, they're the ones that really sold the program. They're the ones that really sold the direction in which we're going. Um, and uh, because anytime I sat down and talked with a recruit one on one, first thing that come out of their mouths were, man, you have a great bunch of guys in, in, in the locker room. Just going off of that, um, with the early time period, does that kind of um, alleviate some suspense or maybe less worry about potentially guys flipping or anything like that? Um, you know, I think it does play a little bit into it. Um, you know, we did not take um, – as much advantage of the early signing period just for obvious reasons. Uh, we wanted to make sure that we were getting our coaches hired. We wanted to make sure that we were um, making sure that all our coaches knew which direction we were going to go. And so we got a good core group that we signed in December. And then, um, you know, that was the game plan all along was get a good core group in December and then try to go finish strong in January. And I think because there was an early signing period, it allowed us to go get some really good football players that maybe would have been, um, you know, maybe more schools would have recruited them if there wouldn't have been an early signing period. But um, it was still a lot of that coming at the end where guys were trying to come in and flip your guys and try to, you know, power five and come and take a G5 guy and all that kind of stuff. But um, we did a, you know, I thought we did a really good job of just closing. Today you have the opportunity to like, create a lot of exposure. You have the uh, show here, the ESPN and all that. And does that kind of go away a little bit if um, you guys decide to sign more in December? Well, it maybe goes away in in, in February. Um, if, if we're going to sign most of our class in December, you know, I don't know why we wouldn't do it then also. Coach, you had a lot of people a little bit worried there in the early signing period uh, with the numbers and, and maybe the people. But now you, you come on, come on strong, sign a lot of three-star pulled a few kids away from some of the P5 schools as well. It seems like everyone's really on board at this point, and it looks as though you're going to have either one or two uh, best signing classes in the summer. Yeah, you, you know, and I, I understand where people were going with that in December, but um, it was very important to me that we didn't, you know, in the world this day and age where you got to have instant gratification and, you know, instant this, instant that. I, that was not the right thing for us in December. I mean, we could have easily signed 21 guys in December. We could have easily done that, but I just don't feel like it would have been the right thing for us to do. And so we, we you know, we, we made some tough decisions during December. 
uh, with some guys, and then we also, you know, took some guys and um, that we thought would be good fits. And then, you know, going through January, that was the plan. Let's go. Let's get a good base. Let's get a good core, and then let's go finish strong. And I, and I think that showed today. For today, you, you already had some depth at quarterback. You signed two today. Why did you feel like you needed to take two? What does that position look like? Well, you know, we're we're, we're a quarterback driven team. I mean, you got to have a guy that can can run and throw and and can run the show. And, you know, I think it's important that you always have uh, really good depth at that position. Uh, the great thing about these guys is uh, they're athletic enough to help us. And, uh, you know, we are, we, you know, we're young with, with, with Shy at quarterback, but, you know, Cato's, Cato's going to be a senior. So, you know, you've got to constantly bring quarterbacks in and make sure that they're progressing and be ready to take over whenever their time comes. You mentioned the role that the uh, current players had in helping to recruit these guys when they came into town. <clears throat> uh, with the, the new coaches that have been brought in, uh, you know, a little bit of time for them to get used to each other over the last month or so, how much does a day like this where you sign a good class go to, you know, having those coaches and players bond, seeing what you guys were able to bring up and hopefully add to the team? Well, you know, what was really good is, you know, I, I told you how our current players and how they really sold the program. and. Uh, one thing that, that we do on official visits at the end of each visit, you know, we I try to sit down with each kid individually and they're either their parents, guardians or whoever brought them and, and try to self scout and try to figure out what we can do better, you know, on our visits. And the overwhelming theme when I asked that question was there's nothing negative coach. You have a great bunch of players and guys that believe in the direction that you're 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 leading them. Um, but the second thing was Coach, man, your coaching staff seems like they've worked together forever. So there's a really good chemistry. There's a really good bond going on. And now that signing day's here and we, and we, and we finished and we closed, uh, I'm really fired up that we're going to be able to get our coaches and get them with our current players and start working with them and so that that bond can build. Anything stand out to you about this class as far as players that you got that you were like, wow, or uh, position needs that you're so happy that you filled? Um, I mean, there's just not one particular guy that you can just point at. I mean, there's several guys and, um, you know, one thing that we tell, you know, recruits, and this is the honest truth, you know, we're going to bring you in. We're bringing you in to compete. We're bringing you in to try to go win a job. It's not a deal where we'll ever promise anybody that they're going to start from day one, but we're going to give them a chance to come in and try to win a job. And, and be that. Um, I think when you look at the overall class, I think what we've done is provided depth in a lot of areas, but we've also provided a, a situation where there's going to be competition that, you know, guys that are currently here are going to have to step their game up, you know, to make sure that they're doing what they need to do to be able to be on the field. Your first class as a head coach, what does it mean to you and how is this aspect of the job different for you compared to your assistant? Well, um, this this class does mean a lot to me, um, but it, it's not that uh, I, I don't care about the rankings and you know whatever that ends up being, and and you know that's all good for the fans, and I'm I'm glad that people are excited about it, um, but it, it's it means a lot to me because we did a thorough evaluation of each kid. We we understood that they could play football, but we understood that they would be a good fit for us. They were going to be a good person for us. Um, you know, they're going to they're going to do a great job in the classroom. They're going to do everything that they can to um, to promote Georgia Southern. So it, it's something that that is special to me because I watched our players and I watched our coaching staff really sell what we got going here. So that that's something that's very, very cool to me.